love walking up this little incline into the casino in Excalibur. First thing in the morning. It's a new day, new hope, new dreams, possible hand pays, and a day where you just don't know what's going to happen. So we're on our way to find Ellis Island. Uh, we got off the bus at Paris and just walked down to, past the front of Bally's and then straight down here. That's Bally's on our right there. On the left is the Cromwell. So we should be down here on the right hand side. On the way down to Ellis Island, you walk past the stage door. There's one dollar Michelob's and it's one of the much cheaper bars here. Nice looking hotel there, the West End. Hotel and Spa. It's just behind Bally's here. In Ellis Island, you can see it's just right over there. Alright, we've just arrived at Ellis Island. And you can see in the background is a has its own brewery, which is great. Yeah, we'll um, go and try some beers and yeah. see what it's like. You want to try the prime rib? I want to try the prime rib. Yeah, but, uh, I'm not too fussed in the looks of that. It's a bit raw for me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, just a wee round up from yesterday. Really, it may while it may look like we were really peeved off, we actually had a really good night yeah, despite the losses. The whole it was day was so great. Good. Was, yeah, losses were hilarious in the end. You know, they it were. Just, it was just. You couldn't erode it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It's a bit later getting out today. We're acclimatising. Yeah, you know, starting not, to yeah. sleep in a bit more and actually enjoy our holiday. <laughs> we are. Um, you know, them other days we're down the strip at 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, but it's a bit later today. But uh, yeah, feel good for it. Yeah, so we'll go inside and see what Ellis Island's all about. Yes, also it's Monday. And oh. we, we like this, don't we? Yeah, well, Monday's a lot quieter on the strip. Um, yeah. It's easier to move about, you don't need re reservations so much for yeah. eating out. Like all weekend we had to make sure that we had tables booked um, just so that we could get in yeah. somewhere, especially with their Grammys being here. Yeah. It seemed to just be really busy. It was really busy, yeah. I like the more relaxed vibe of Monday to Thursday. I you know, agree. I'm up that. And it's still busy, don't get me wrong, like you drove past one of me Gabby and yeah, it's full, it was still you know, it's still full, full yeah. you know, but it's just, just that little bit less busy. Quite a bit less busy, especially on a Saturday. My oh, goodness. Yeah. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get some food. Very nice, isn't it?
out of about three hours there in Ellis Island. It's like a little cavern you go in, you'd lose all track of time. You do. <laughs> it's plenty to do for such a small place too. Yeah, exactly. Um, we had a go in the slots. It was pretty successful actually. Yes, the only was. thing is you can't film in there. So yeah, can't what? show you any. We, we like sneakily took a video because we had a really good hit. Uh, well, not a hit, a bonus yeah. on um, one of these. The Cuckoo or the Kaiku. <laughs> it's one of the Konami ones anyway. Konami game. Um, we ended up actually winning $180 on that machine. Yeah. Um, and... Um, so that's left us up in there we had they have an offer on where if you sign up for a player's card you get um and then you spend five dollars you it random ten dollars for new sorry, customers sorry ten dollars for new customers and um, then it'll randomly assign you some free play so i got assigned 55 dollars and from that i turned it into seven big ones yes you were, <laughs> i was gonna say you were lucky you only got 55 dollars of free play after your first ten dollars yeah i got five dollars but i won on mine i won uh like 90 dollars from the 20 so so chris is yeah. up up yeah yeah i'm so just up the beauty of slots you know the night before you can't hit anything and then first machine you put in a couple of spins and you're getting bonuses um, and a great line hit, which was yeah. like eighty-five dollars on yeah. a one fifty we'll, bet. We'll on put Dragon a little Link. snippet that was stuck yeah. in after this. Yeah. Um. But then we went to front yard. Or, well. Yeah. One. Also, another perk is um. Once you bet your ten dollars, you go to their machine, you swipe your card, and then you get nine ninety nine steak special dinner. So we took that and asked what it was, and they ended up being a, a ten ounce uh, New York strip. If you get a mice or baked potato or fries and, and green beans a and a starter, you get a soup or yeah. a salad. So, you know, $30 was our lunch and drinks, you know. Yeah. And the steak was grand, you know. It was, yeah, it was, it was like what you would expect from where it was. But, yeah, um, but really nice. Yeah, nice like, actually, I was more surprised by it. I was surprised, than, yeah. yeah. I was, because I was I, thought I was expecting it to be a grisly, horrible piece of meat, and yeah. it wasn't. It was yeah. actually a really nice it piece was, of It steak. was, it was yeah, yeah. Um, and then we went into the, the front, front yard. yard. Yes. And uh, honestly, if you have sports or anything you want to watch, mm -hmm. it's a great place. They've got like three dollar beers that yeah. they like IPAs, brew themselves yeah. on site. Three dollars, and then the specialty ones are five. Um, but yeah, he hadn't the DJ on until three o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. which was <laughs> nice and lively for a Monday. But um, he finished, and yeah, you could feel that everyone was like, "Oh, we were enjoying that." You know, wish I had kept going, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was a really good morning down here. I would definitely come back and recommend, you know, anyone who wants to come down. Definitely. I, I would like to have got footage of the front yard and everything, but they were really strict. As soon as I had my camera out, they were straight over, no filming. Um, so that, that was a disappointment. They need, to, they need to catch up, I think, to the 21st century of Vegas vlogging because at the end of the day, they'll just cost themselves business. But it's definitely worth coming down, having yeah, a look and being surprised for yourself. 100%, yes. So um, we're going to the Link Promenade. Jolene has been raving about how she wants to drink these Jan Ice Baileys or something, isn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't get a dessert in there, so I need a dessert. Very right, true, very right, true. <laughs> lots of alcohol in the course. So, yes, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to head to the Link Promenade from here and, uh, yeah, see what happens. A look from the, the back of the strip, a couple of blocks back. Still a nice view. And that is where we are going. In the 7-Eleven beside Ellis Island, there is poker and blackjack and keto machines. How brilliant. It's a bit random at the 7-Eleven, they're playing Pavarotti outside, but uh, I'll not complain. You know, it's not enough places playing Pavarotti out there. We're just saying, hi. Huh? You know, if you were staying at Ellis Island, you really wouldn't fancy walking down here at night time, come back on the strip, so even during the day, it's a bit, hmm. But, but anyway. All the Tesla's getting charged and I don't know what this is, but look at the colour of that. It's amazing. We're right at the back of the Link Promenade at the, the High Roller, which looks a lot higher when you're up close. I don't think I would cope too well. Last night in the glass elevator, which I didn't know there was a glass elevator going to Skyfall. I had to just face front and just talk to the girl taking us up in the lift. But uh, I was already coming down after a couple of cocktails, was able to look out. But and apparently, there's a, a link zip line like Fremont. Still a no from me.
some really nice restaurants and pubs down here along with in and out Burger which we still haven't tried this is right there I doubt it would beat Shake Shack but I won't rule it out Balcony up there, Virgil's barbecue. From what I hear when the UFC is on, which I'm a big fan of the UFC, this is where to come in Las Vegas to tilt the kilt. <laughs> Museum of selfies. I'm intrigued. Okay, Jolene Spider, O'Shea's, Frozen Billy's coming up. Oh, she doesn't look too happy. What's wrong? They have no Frozen Billy's. No, they don't. You're really angry, aren't I'm you? so cross. You were so, so looking forward to this. Oh. We are meant to come down a few days ago and never made it. And we came here now and they don't have any. They're like waiting for something to come in stock. They said that they don't have it in the bar at the minute. So they can't make it. But they might have it in again by Thursday. So we'll swing back. It says they're waiting on one ingredient. So to me, there can only be two things. Bailey's and ice. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know. Maybe it's an ice shortage in Vegas. or <laughs> Surely not a Bailey shortage. Really. If that had told us, we could have brought it with us. But <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll have to go somewhere else. Find um, something else. Yeah. Just come into the link. If you come in the back of the Link Hotel, uh, there's Heish House of Go Go. Anybody that watched Man vs. Food will know exactly what this place is. They do amazing, amazing food, just mixed up farm food, they call it. Uh, the fried chicken eggs Benedict is to die for, but you'll need to have a massive stomach for it because I can only ever eat half of it. Um, I've been here quite a few times. Um, probably not get here this trip, but um, it's a great place. I highly recommend it. Island in Harris are like they're 
made were rum, lots of different types of rums and pine, like, I don't know, lemon juice or something? They're lovely. Oh, the, 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 um, the Yeah. Yes, the Yellow Bar. Well, it's alright. It keeps just, us ticking yeah, over. It's a starter. We're back up. So we'll be back if we get anything else. Well, Chris, that's if Chris makes it with all these cocktails he's firing in them today. There's a bit of mixing going on today. IPAs and Long Islands and now pina coladas. That's lovely. Oh, good. No big props to Harris. So just a few spins later, and we got this again. to go out um gonna head down to the cosmo aria direction maybe do a bit of gambling aria um never been in aria's casino before so um i got really excited this morning because i found a promotion email on my phone from the cosmo saying a free 15 dollars free play for you and then when i logged in it said uh used in the next 24 hours uh but it was sent six days ago so, <laughs> so, so but anyway it doesn't put us off really but uh yeah so we're gonna head down there listen people don't want to know where we're going what they want to know is what's the room bars drink of choice tonight oh true true yes uh what is the room bars drink of choice for you i have jamaican me happy which is <laughs> i love a good pun <laughs> um it's like a spiked lemonade all oh, right it's pretty good actually and sugar um, yeah. yeah is it making you happy though <laughs> well it's, it's Definitely having an effect. <laughs> not, not, yeah, well, I'm just on the old board Miller light. Yes, cue the abuse. All right. Okay, <laughs> let's go see what happens. Made big crowds here tonight watching the game. Not into basketball in the South, like, but people here love it. Finally, on the good stuff, love Pacifico. This is very impressive. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm all about the scents in the hotel. Oh, look at that. Hey, I know another. Hotel that does automatic doors, Excalibur, baby. Very few do. Good on you, Excalibur. Who's that sweet dude? You like rub him or something? There you are, man. Give us some luck.
Okay, we've just come into the area and we're gonna go to the Buffalo right away tonight and we're playing two cent a norm, two dollars a bet. Uh, so let's hope we get the luck. Literally two spins, forty dollars down to thirty-six, and we've hit the four coins. So is that twelve spins? Instead of well, twelve instead of eight? Yeah. But just for that, it's twenty dollars. Oh yes. Right, okay. Start a feature? Yeah, let's start a feature. Cool. Yeah, you're right, twenty dollars. Well, remember the old saying? It's not about the spins, it's about the wins. <laughs> you know, you could dead spin me for 13 of these 15 here, you know. Come on. <laughs> oh, so close. Re-trigger. Anything. What's that? Times two on what? I could say it, I could dance spin you for another <laughs> hours, 10 of the 13 of it's calling them. Come on, nags? Oh, please. dollar eight cents yeah the twenty dollars is probably falling in but but here you know if you had a said to me before I sat down two spins in you get that I would have took it all right on to the next just hit the bonus again we changed the one cent and on we're down to fifteen dollars still three dollar bet though ah yes nice re trigger there Good to get it early doors, takes the pressure off. Nice holding spin to be good, come on, baby. Oh, a tease. Big Buffaloes, time three, please. Oh, there you go. Throw the machine off. <laughs> what did I get? 1640. That's all right. Come on, re trigger. Come on. Re trigger. That's sad. Nine. Oh dear. 1660. Ready for. Oh, keep trying. High Limit Lounge, it's quite nice in there, I doubt I'll be joining them. This is nice isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Oh very funny, we just sat down at the luxury line and <laughs> put like $20 in. And we're like yeah Jolene's will do 75 cents just because she wanted to play this game, I haven't played it yet. And the bet is $75, so I was instantly withdrawn. <laughs> Five, three, five. I don't know what this means. Is this a countdown to Christmas or something? Yeah, lost a bit. We're coming out, getting a bit of luck. He's, his belly's been well rubbed, hasn't it? <laughs>
an interesting game is Scarabling. It's not interesting. She just hypnotizes you yes. and makes you want to play her every she's, time you walk past. She does. Uh, Jolie's no role in here, but we've been playing this all holiday. We haven't really filmed it. Um, you get 10, 10 spins per game. Yeah. And every... One of these. Yeah, every, every, every spin you can get wilds to come in and hold. They're not wilds when they come in until the 10th spin out of 10. That's it. And then the stick like that, there's three. So they'll, four. they'll stick, and yeah. when we hit the tenth spin, they all go wild. They'll be wild. Yeah, okay. And you want like Cleopatra in the middle of it all. But it keeps you in for the ten games, you know. But at least you know it's going to hit in through. ten games. Yeah, well, you know, you know it's going to hit, but we've had hits for yeah. 30 cents. And <laughs> we've, had, we've had hits for $21. It just depends. We've never triggered a bonus. No. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Set. Oh. Up your bat at 250. Oh, we didn't have this before. What's this? See? Oh, this is a lot better than the other ones. Seems to be. Oh, wow, that's a lot of wise. Two more games, and then they will all trigger as wise. Oh, this is different. All right, so you can be wilds or it could be money. Well, the other ones were all wilds we were playing. Oh, that sucks. Oh, this is worse. Oh, <laughs> instantly worse. Well, that was all wilds. Yeah, because yeah. I think if they were like six numbers, you'd have got the holding spin, but we yeah. only got five. Oh, wow. Epic fail. Oh, well, get the money out. Let's go. machine that we probably meant to play the last time. No, we did mean to play. <laughs> we were hoodwinked. That's what it was. Hoodwinked by the big large cabinet that made it look like it was a new all singing all dancing one that, yeah. oh. as Chris would say, nothing ever changes for the better, eh Chris? Indeed. <laughs> That's it. 100%. There we go. These will be wilds. Honestly, believe me this time. <laughs> well, there will be anything around it. It's another matter. Three. Yeah, one fifty bad. That gives us a while where there was a while. Just to annoy you. Oh wow, this is wow. Oh dear. Two fifty. Yeah, it's a great machine, just avoid it completely. <laughs> Alright, first time playing this one, Star Goddess. Don't have a clue what's happening. I think he's wild, things are falling in like Scarab, but um, the uh, gin and tonics come in a lovely Aria glass. Very nice. And the Trident Crusted Goose Island IPA. Okay, so these are falling in and sticking, so these will turn to wilds, but it will be random when they will turn to wilds, so come on. $2 bet. Oh, there we go. Something good. That's fantastic. I don't know, is it, is it fantastic? It's 38.90. Oh, that's all right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, no, Jolene always finds where it tells you, you know, the spoiler. I can't what wait it's it. going to pay. I, mean, I was like that at Christmas. I used to go hooking for the Christmas presents too. Oh, you're horrible. <laughs> I did that one time as a kid and found out I was getting the whole Star Wars trilogy on VHS and it ruined Christmas and I never <laughs> did it again. It's the worst Christmas day of all time. Actually, the last year's was because I got COVID on Christmas Eve. So, uh, I couldn't even eat anything. It was a disaster, but there we go. Okay, um, we cashed out and we've come over to the Hobbit. Uh, we're going to give that a go. We've seen this as well online. But Jolene hates these games. These games that are movie based or TV show based. Because why? Tell. Because they have to, they have to be monetized to the likes of the Hobbit franchise. So some of the money from these machines will go back to this company. So you can't therefore win big on them. I don't think. Well, Jolene thinks that. That's it's an interesting one. That's uh, the lizard people in the suits conspiracy theory stuff. But uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's go and see if she's wrong or she's right. Brilliant. Three spins in. <laughs> I've got the holding spin thingy, my jig, whatever it is. Go on, smoke. Now you remember what Jolene said, you can't win big. That's what you said. 
Coatner. Coatner. Never not to drop your dish in because. Uh, <laughs> this is Buffalo standards a bonus. Aye. Oh, 25. Uh, aye, 25 cents. <laughs> No, these are two cents, don't forget to Oh, two cents at all, yeah, we're paying two cents at all. Come on, come on. Come on. Up, 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 up down. Told ya. There you go. There are big nine quid. Nine dollars, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, it's nice to get a bonus and something else. You know, the people are sick of us playing Buffalo and Lightning Link, but I do love them. <laughs> Alright, back with the mower, if I get any. Oh, it's all kicking off, they're fighting. Oh, I don't know what to look at. Oh, look at those wilds. Give me a good symbol. Come on, Bilbo Sun, where are you? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> and it used to be I was a scud, but it looks like Jolene is. Oh, throwing the wilds down again. Oh, come on, front, front, front. Bilbo. Oh, Sauron. There's three wilds in there. It's a freak, you know, all these names. It's not a freak, it's just the movies. Oh, go on ahead, go on ahead, this is great. That is fun. Oh, the arrows are flying now. Oh, I think we got a bonus. I think we got the bonus. Yes, a free spin. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. What's going on? Oh, we've got, we've got, a, we've got a wheel. Oh, try to chin. You can tell we have never played this before. <laughs> We're all over the place. I'm like, get the phone out of the pocket, quick film, what? All right, so the bigger numbers are better. Come on, 40. Oh, I knew it was gonna be it. <laughs> this is not the lowest. Eight spins. Oh, they say, wow. Oh, no, they oh, they go down, yeah. yeah. Trigger, re trigger for a third one? No. Six of eight, come on, give us something good, it's good. Ah, so close. Okay, a little bit of a coin show there. 870. 870, well. All show and no punch. <laughs> All bark and no bite. Well, anyway, the bottom line is we put 40 in and we're 112. So I'm having fun. A lot better than the yeah. MGM. Goose Island. You know. Cheers, folks. Yeah, more drinks on the way. You know, this is this is how you want to spend your Monday. Games here in Aria. Uh, we're on Moon Maidens Mona. Chris selected this one because he loves a redhead. I do I have to say, she dragged me in, but um, <laughs> never mind that. How much does she pay? Come on. I like the dramatic music and all this. Come on. Nine games. Ha <laughs> 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 I'm weird to start recording and you get it? <laughs> Let's see what the feature's like. Nine free games. The Mountain Maidens is um, wild. It's like a 90s rave. <laughs> Thanks. 
impressed that last one. The one he upset him. That's all right. So is that. Oh, I have to say the drink service here at Aria has been amazing. We've had to turn them away because yeah. they had too much. Yeah. You've got a full one and then they're offering you more. It's like... But they don't do pina coladas, so that's a, a no no. So the Cosmo does, and it's right beside here, so we could be venturing over there. Oh, I love this music, this is great. I love this place. I love Las Vegas. I don't want to go home. I want to live here in a hotel room for the rest of my life with someone giving me a budget of $300 or $250 a day. I would be so happy. Even without my Xbox. You know, I've been no war zone for two weeks. <laughs> Seems to take its time, so we're just pressing. Yeah, you're. What are we at? Uh, seven and nine. Come on, we need a good head here. That's not it. Oh. Nineteen fifty-six. Well. But it's worth it for a new bonus, something we haven't seen before, and I tell you what, that music was worth it. Even though we had the bonus, uh, we're on the right down, and then we were doing $2 bets, and we had to do the last one of 40 But it was, that was just such a fun game, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. The um, music was so you know dramatic. It was so good. As well. Yeah. Like, come into Aria nearly two hours ago thinking we'll just pop in for a look yeah but we've been here for ages yeah <laughs> it's so good yeah and this game i've never seen it anywhere highly recommend it you know if you love your yeah. your, your weird techno music as it gives you but yeah excellent enjoyed that so funny earlier i was saying about i like mondays because they're not packed the strip was bunged coming down from excalibur we walked down the area and it was mobbed Translation, really busy. Yeah, it was mobbed, yes. A lot of people sort of like the weekend. And Aria especially. Aria's been... It's really bunged around here. Um, Jolene, it's not that way. We are on the hunt for double top dollar. Even though it's let us down all holiday. But we found it. Where's and we're going to play it. Where's my card? It's Have in my pocket. It again? Oh, yeah, I lost my card earlier. I left it in the machine. Christopher, tell the folks at home what, what just happened. <laughs> finally, finally got a top dollar bonus. Finally. I was so excited. I was videoing, you know, it was all over the place. Was just going, oh, some, some Matt Bridger top dollar bonus. You know, With your Matt Bridger t-shirt. With your Matt Bridger t-shirt. You know, we're waiting this moment the whole holiday. And, and you know, film it all and I'm, I'm so excited I'm going what, what, what offer would Bridger take so we got a $40 offer turn it down because Bridger says 45 or over and then we got a $50 so we'll take that and then I, I just stopped the recording and then I didn't even record it all it took was a big blurry photo which you're going to see in the description, in the description and you know what I mean anyway you say yeah, he's really good I'll tell you what I'm recording this time oh yes <laughs> you're taking that all right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the last one didn't record. I had photo instead. I like blurry photo. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, Sergey. Bridger! <laughs> Thank you so much. You introduced me to this game in your vlogs. Love it. 
All right, um, we've got a great night in Aria. We've spent a few hours here. We've done well on most machines. Um, I've picked the top dollar. Uh, Scratched that itch. Yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> Scratched it twice when he filmed it once. Um, <laughs> awesome. Such a good feeling to get that and um, a really nice bonus as well. Like $135. That was nice. It was really good, yeah. 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 Um, we so are we're leaving here a bit up. Yep. Going to Cosmo. Yep. And we'll see what happens over there. Yes. Yeah. We've we'll wanted to leave here a couple of times. But the machines keep drawing us back in. So we keep winning. Like, oh, by this place. But um, not because I wanted to leave, just wanted to get the Cosmo tonight and we're just getting there a bit later on my thought. So yeah, let's go and uh, get a peanut butter. So the first time we ever stayed here was right up there where Shania is on the Planet Hollywood. Um, I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but it looked over the Cosmo. And Adele back then was doing a show. She was doing at the a pool. concert at the pool. At the pool. Yeah. And now she can't even do one at Caesars because she can't even show up. <laughs> See, she was hungry then. She was working yeah. her way up. You That's know, it. yeah. I remember looking out the hotel room going, oh, there's a concert on over there. Somebody's wailing like a cat. <laughs> yeah, and then. <laughs> Might have been what you said. <laughs> no, they're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so I thought you liked it though. Um, I do. <laughs> and then we'll find out after it was just yeah, Adele was in town doing a, a concert at the Cosmo. So yeah, there you go. But uh, speaking of the Cosmo, that's where we're going now. Yeah, we didn't come in this way last time. Wow. How did we not see this last time? I know, I, I don't... You mean the many last time we've been here? We've been here once! We did see it when we were here for the week. I was very drunk. You might have been. Too many pina coladas. <laughs> I blame flights. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Terrible. Well, no, because you're meant to then take the flour and eat the little flour. This looks like voodoo magic to me. Which tastes disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, my thumbs are gone. It's like doing weird things. I don't think it's meant to be like that. People say that the drink is not very nice and you eat the floor and it's nice. You know. Oh it dear. It does taste different after you do that. Yeah, oh well, that's it. Taste buds destroyed, you know. <laughs> you know, you get over COVID and then you do that, you know. Oh, I'll tell you what. Is it nice? It's a really nice drink. Nice? It is nice. Oh. <laughs> I feel like all my um, do you know like my saliva glands are like working on overdrive. Right. I've got a mouthful. 
Okay, let me just tell everyone out there that I've just had a sip of this and it's the most disgusting thing, drink I've ever had in my life. It's absolutely horrible. Everyone's tastes are different. No, it's absolutely horrible. There's nothing nice about it. That's why they need a flour to make it taste nice, you know. Even though we're playing James Bond, we never got the, the martini shake and that's to her. It was a pina colada and the lemon drop. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we're on the double, no, it's not a double, it's just top dollar in um, Constantinople. Uh, we dropped it down to 75 cents, so no. Try again. Try again. Go on over 50, surely. No. <gasps> Try again. Where's the volume? 30? Try no, again. absolutely not. When in Rome. Oh. oh well. One for the road. Let's go to Dragon Link. Okay, we're going against all advice here. Because we should really be going for the 714 major, but I'm going for the 570 because I like Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan gives me times two. Really Go on your circuit. We're in um, Genghis Khan, like I was saying. I love Genghis, he gives me times two. And a few spins in. Spin. Two minis, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two cents and all. My dad loves it. Send yes. it all his best. Eric was here last time. He's not here this time. He's out working this morning while we're doing this. Two minis as well, that's forty dollars. I know, keep it going, oh keep it going. Ah, oh, look at you, you get too eager. Well, that's, that's a hell of a start. Oh, a loud machine, that will love a loud machine. That's $180 right there. Get it! <laughs> and Jolene was telling me, let's go home, let's go home, but don't need to play this. I'm I like, apologize. Yeah, I'm like, no. This is the only time you will hear this, Christopher Shaw, you were right. Yes, I was like, wrong. I have to put a bit of money in this machine just before we go back to the Excalibur. Grab some knee, go to bed. Nope, let's go. This is the second 200 ticket we've taken tonight. One from Aria, one from Cosmo, just before we're going to bed. What a day, what a turnaround of luck. This is Vegas. All right, so we're heading home. It's after 1 a.m. Probably the latest would be nice to we're acclimatizing that. <laughs> anyway, um, we've had a brilliant day again. Um, brilliant day, brilliant night, brilliant everything. Yeah, it's so good. You know, <laughs> we, we've like a budget each of like 250 260 per day. I got home with $300 in my pocket after all the food, eating out all day, and I've drinks, got 270 Tips, everything. Yeah. You know, and you know, you're gonna, that's, that's all you can ask for, you know. Like, that's including Ellis Island, it's including. Yeah. Our, All our food, um, lunches, our drinks, everything. The brewery, everything. And it's, it's brilliant, brilliant, so, but yeah. it really, really it literally good. cost me ten dollars to be out all yeah, day today in the Las Vegas yeah. trip. <laughs> so good. I made money. Christopher is like he's been like a pimp today. He's yeah. been paid to be out in the Las yeah. Vegas trip. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not selling my body just yet, but, you know. <laughs> last night I was thinking about it, you know, but tonight we're all right. So yeah, yeah, we're heading back to Excalibur, we're just trying to find somewhere that's good food. So um, I don't know where. We'll let you know if we find someone. Uh, yeah, yeah, we will. So we're walking back from Cosmo to Excalibur, but we do need food. So we're thinking the uh, food court in Excalibur will be closed, which from our experience everything normally is. So we're going to the food court over here, if it's open. It's a bit quieter on the strip at this time. 